What's up, Penta? You get a haircut, Harry? I think so. Looks good. <laughs> Thanks. I think so. Oh, he did. Eating outside today. I think it's funny you guys are eating outside like right after it rains. Everyone knew it's chicken day, so everybody gotta get the fucking protein in. For the big game. I'm about to go back and get some cookies. I bet they're good, dude. Look at this shit. Can you go and save it? Mm. Scrims leading up to last week's games were interesting. I think we were trying a lot of new strats in terms of how we were trying to play overall. But we finished first, third, and then fourth on separate days. <laughs> Haley got it for me. Pretty pog. I think we played okay. We had some rough circles that we weren't necessarily used to. And so I think we ran into a lot of games where we didn't know what to do. And I put a lot of that on me, being the IGL and not knowing exactly a strong game plan for each circle. What's up, Harry? I don't know. I'm just doing my thing. We fucking suck today. Cherry, you got any words to say? Try again next week. Let's talk about next week. Next week is a very special week, Matro. Yeah. I mean, we've got the Royale. This is where it's so fun to watch. We've got so many different teams that are gonna make their way up through here. Naturally gonna be two days. You guys know how the schedule works. A six game finale on Sunday to see who takes home the lion's share of $80,000. The difference between Royale versus the weeks in phase two are certainly a reset for everybody. I think a lot of tension that has been going from week to week in the phase is actually being released with people having fun at Royale instead of actually taking it more seriously like the the real league. Going into the Royale weekend, we're just gonna play with more confidence, more together. Oh yeah, we're gonna win money, 100%. 40,000, first place, baby. 